Hello and welcome back once again to Viking Whiskey. Today it's a newer bottling from Artbeck, the Artbeck Scorch. Um, bottled this year, 2021. Um, I think it's their latest um, of these special limited edition bottlings. Um, what's special about this, as the name sort of implies, is that um, it's been made using uh, heavily charred ex-bourbon barrels. Um, and that's about all the info there is on this one. <laughs> uh, I've tried a few uh, charred barrel whiskies before and they've never really done it for me. Um, but who knows, maybe this will be the one. Only one way to find out. Details that I have are on the screen right here. There we go, light golden brown color. First off, it's surely an odd bag, but also a young one. Those first notes are peat smoke and um, band-aids, medicinal notes. Um, and then there's some Green apples, black pepper, a little bit of that lanolin or sort of wet socks. Smoked vanilla and also some sweeter toffee notes. Actually, just you know, a fresh, sweet, and smoky nose. It's quite enjoyable if you're into uh, the Isla sort of nose. Um, nothing wrong with it. Nothing fantastic either, but all right. Let's have a taste. All right, the alcohol level is fine, almost unnoticeable. Um, first thoughts are, how did they make this so sweet? Uh, I mean, it's, it's almost syrupy, sticky sweet, molasses, brown sugar, uh, of course, also some smoky notes, uh, peat smoke, some band-aids, uh, but Mmm, it's really a lot of sweetness going on here. And underneath, when it sort of rolls off, there is that charred wood, that charred oak flavor, which is not actually not bad because it's just so sugar coated. Mmm. <laughs> but again, that also makes it not as interesting as it could be. All right, not a bad start, not a great start. Hmm. Second chew. Yeah, and the second chew, it's much better. It's becoming really full and oily, creamy on the palate. Uh, a little more pepper, just a hint of ginger and some chocolate milk joins in on top of all the other stuff. Along with light vanilla, light lemon oil. Mm. Mm. 
<laughs> Quite enjoyable dram. Wouldn't be my go-to art bed, but I could easily see myself having one of these on the shelf, depending on the price, of course. Um, so, not bad. Last one. And the last two gets even creamier. It's really full and thick on the palate. Um, nice, very chewable. Still a lot of these sweet notes, um, especially that molasses sweetness is there. Smoke is also fuller, a little more powerful and full in the mouth. But the sweetness, I mean, I think this is, this feels like it. I mean, that sweetness and all this creaminess uh, feels like a dessert whiskey. <laughs> hmm. Maybe with a good vanilla ice cream, this would be perfect match. <laughs> That's a first. Uh, on the finish, um, there is light medicinal smoke. Um, Light, light ginger, smoked vanilla, lemon oil, chocolate milk, whipped cream, still that molasses, black pepper, nice and warm, smooth finish, mm, not bad, better than I expected, but also sweeter than I expected. So, rating this guy. The nose is a flat 80. Taste-wise, we're gonna pull ourselves up to an 88. And the finish comes down and loses the sweetness a little quicker than it should have, so that's an 86. Average. All right, thanks so much for checking in on this one. Let me know what you think. If you have other opinions, I'd love to hear them. Otherwise, I do hope to see you again on the next one. Cheers.